Good evening. Welcome to this edition of the 411 Talk Song Radio Show. My name is Leon Jones. Tonight's topic, I'm going to give you an overview of what the definition of Alzheimer's disease is. I'm going to give you an overview of Alzheimer's disease. Now, basically, Alzheimer's disease is a brain disease that slowly destroys memory and thinking skills and eventually the ability to carry out the simplest task. It begins slowly and it gets worse over time. Currently, there is no cure. Now, Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of dementia among older people. Dementia is a loss of thinking, remembering, and reasoning skills that interferes with a person's daily life and activities. Dementia ranges in severity from the mild stage when it is just beginning to affect a person's functioning to the most severe stage when the person must depend completely on others for basic care. Estimates vary, but experts suggest that more than 5 million Americans may have Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's is currently ranked as the sixth leading cause of death in the United States, but recent estimates indicate that the disorder may rank third just behind heart disease and cancer as a cause of death for older people. And most people who have Alzheimer's symptoms first appear in their mid-60s, and the risk of developing the, the disease increases with age. Now, with younger people, particularly in their 30s, 40s, and 50s, they may get Alzheimer's d- disease, but it is less common. It is important to note that Alzheimer's disease is not a part of aging. The course of Alzheimer's disease, which symptoms occur and how quickly changes occur, varies from person to person. The time from diagnosis to death also varies. It could be in as little as three to four years if the person is 80 years or older when diagnosed or as long as 10 years or more if a person is younger. Memory problems are typically one of the first signs of Alzheimer's disease. Initial symptoms also vary from person to person. A decline in other aspects such as thinking and finding the right words, vision and spatial issues, and impaired reasoning or judgment may also be the early stages of Alzheimer's disease. Now, people with Alzheimer's basically have trouble doing everything day tasks such as driving a car, cooking a meal, or even paying bills. They may ask the same questions over and over, get lost easily, lose things, or put them in odd places, and even find simple things very, very confusing. Some people become wary, angry, or violent. Now, did you catch that? Worried, angry, or violent. I've mentioned those Feelings or emotions in previous videos. If you've seen my videos, you can now connect the dots that every mental or psychological issue can go back to being worried, which is a form of stress, anger, or violence, which anger and violence are very emotional disorders. Now, other reasons for memory issues. Not all people with memory problems have Alzheimer's disease. Mild forgetfulness can be a normal part of aging. Some people may notice it takes longer to learn new things, remember certain words, or even find their glasses. That's different from a serious memory problem, which makes it hard to do everyday things. Sometimes memory problems are related to health issues that are treatable. For example, medication side effects vitamin B12 deficiency, head injuries, or liver or kidney disorders can lead to memory loss or possibly dementia. Emotional problems such as stress, anxiety, or depression can make a person be more forgetful and may be mistaken for dementia. Now, some older people with memory or other thinking problems have a condition called mid-cognitive impairment or MCI. MCI can be an early sign of Alzheimer's, but not everyone with MCI will develop Alzheimer's disease. Now, people 
with MCI have more memory problems than other people their age, but they can still take care of themselves and do normal daily activities. Now, the signs of MCI include losing things often, forgetting to go to events and appointments, having more trouble coming up with words than people their same age. If you or someone in your family thinks your forgetfulness is getting in the way of your normal routine, it's definitely important to see a doctor. Seeing a doctor when you first start having memory problems can help you find out what's causing you to forget. But what happens to the brain when you have Alzheimer's? Well, first of all, the Alzheimer's disease is named after Dr. Alois Alzheimer, a German doctor. In 1906, Dr. Alzheimer noticed changes in the brain tissue of a woman who died of an unusual mental illness. Now, after she died, he examined her brain and found many abnormal clumps, now called amyloid plaques, and tangled bundles of fibers, now called newer fibrillary or Tau tangles. Plaques and tangles in the brain are two of the main features of Alzheimer's disease. Now, another loss of confections between nerve cells or neurons in the brain. Neurons send messages to different parts of the brain and from the brain to the muscles to the organs in the body. Now, it seems likely that damage to the brain starts 10 years or more before memory or other thinking problems become very obvious. During the earliest stage of Alzheimer's, people are free of symptoms, but harmful changes are taking place in the brain. The damage at first appears to take place in the brain cells of the hippocampus, a part of the brain essential in forming memories. Abnormal protein deposits from plaques and tangles in the brain once healthy nerve cells stop functioning, lose connections with each other, and they just die. And more nerve cells die, other parts of the brain begin to shrink. By the final stage of Alzheimer's, the damage is widespread, and the brain tissue has shrunk significantly. Now, that being said, going over everything that... I've talked about there's no cure for Alzheimer's. Are there treatments? Certainly, there are treatments. The treatments are basically managing your Alzheimer's disease. That means seeing your doctor. There are medicines that can treat the symptoms as well. Most Alzheimer's medicines work for people in the mild or moderate stages of the diseases. For example, they can keep memory loss from getting worse over a period of time. Other medications may help behavioral symptoms such as trouble sleeping, being worried, or depressed. Again, Alzheimer's links to other mental disorders that I've talked about. I've talked about sleeping, stress, cancer, heart disease. But with Alzheimer's, Again, with no core, with no cure, it's going to be basically hard to even find out what medicines are good for treating Alzheimer's. And again, when I talk about medication, I just believe that society is over-medicated. And when you're over-medicated, what happens we tend to send all of our money to the pharmaceuticals. I know the health field is a must-needed field, but we need to beef up on the studying for Alzheimer's. I mean, why isn't there any cure for it? I know there's been plenty of research for it. Now, Dr. Alzheimer, he explained what happens to the brain brain basically shrinks. And this is why individuals, for the most part, lose a lot of memory. And I've seen people in this state, particularly at nursing homes, 
once your brain starts to shrink, you become a vegetable. You can no longer perform any everyday duties. And that's very sad because that's when you get to the point of wasting away. So what I am doing is just tonight giving an overview of the Alzheimer's disease because I want to make everybody aware that some of us have a family member who has Alzheimer's. And when we put members into nursing homes, sometimes the nursing homes don't treat the patients right. They just let them die. And in nursing homes, family just drops off that member, doesn't visit them at all. Loneliness can also cause that person to pass away. But with Alzheimer's, It's just sad that we see many people who have this disease. And just remember, you don't know what Alzheimer's is. Alzheimer's is basically a brain disease. It slowly destroys your memory. And once your memory is gone, your whole life is down the drain. But since there's no cure, the only thing you can really do besides medicines is make sure that you get help from your doctor. But if we continue to put some money in the research, they may find a cure one day for Alzheimer's disease. And when that happens, the good Lord will help keep that person alive to see another day or more years because you only have one life. Manage it properly because once it's gone, it's gone. And that's my commentary for this edition of the 411 Talk Zone Radio Show for this evening, Wednesday, Hump Day, February 10th, 2016, 2017, you can tune in to the 401 Talk Zone Radio Show every Saturday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Blog Talk Radio. Guest call-in number is 215-383-5785. I'm going to be talking about schizophrenia this week. It's going to be a good show. If you want to get in on the show this week, it's 215-383-5785. That's the call-in number. Remember, I have the Blog Talk Radio Show every Saturday. 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And if you like my videos, please share and subscribe to the 401 Talk Zone Radio Show right here on YouTube so I can continue to give you quality information for educational purposes from a professional and mature perspective. Now on this channel, I don't engage in debates, controversy, or emotion, nor do I participate in drama or unnecessary bickering. Why? Because it's counterproductive. This channel for educational purposes only. If you are interested in learning how the real world works through the application of the information that I'm providing and the research, the free research, of course, please come on to this channel because you're going to get a lot of knowledge. So I'm going to tell you something. The real world is tough. And if you're not ready for the real world, it's going to be very negative, and you're going to struggle. That's just the truth. So just remember, I'm giving you the information to help you survive in the real world because knowledge is power. And if you have a business, a topic, or new YouTube channel that you would like for me to discuss on YouTube or Blog Talk Radio, please email me at lej6521 at gmail.com and if you have a comment please leave your comment in the comment section under the video but make sure that your comments are pithy no bloviating petty fogging or filibustering if you wish to opine now that's it for this video till next time my name is leon jones remember 
Please be gentle and respectful to each other, and have a wonderful and blessed night. Good night.